You guys remember the Hyundai Star X, right? It was a popular van in the early 90s, well, late 90s and early 2000s. This is its official successor, the 2023 Hyundai Staria GLS Plus. So first we start off with its polarizing design. It's futuristic, we can't deny that. But it's a hit or miss when it comes to certain people. You do get an LED daytime running lights here that unfortunately doesn't span the whole width of the vehicle because that's in the higher variant. But you do get LED lights down here. Yes, down here because that's where Hyundai put them. You also get this nice geometric design for its grille and of course a front camera which I'll discuss much later on. Moving on to the side, you do have 17-inch alloy wheels that are wrapped in Nexen tires. So on the side, well, there's really not much to talk about because it's as broad as a barn door, but you do have repeaters on the side mirror, smooth body lines here, and massive windows, by the way, and of course, sliding doors on either side. At the back, the Hyundai Staria lives up to its van lifestyle with this massive rectangular LED uh, taillights and this huge rear door, which opens up to reveal, well, not much luggage space. So, that's enough about the exterior. Let's go to the inside of the Staria. What you do get is, well, a really nice minimalistic cabin here with plenty of storage space here, here, and of course, down there. You also get this 8-inch infotainment system that comes with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto and a wireless charger right here. So, the Hyundai Staria is an 11-seater for this GLS Plus variant. You get room for three in the front, room for three again in the second row, room for two because there's captain's chairs in the back, and, well, room for three again for the fourth row because it has a bench type seat. So in terms of space back here, well, it's decent at best for Filipinos of average height. The seats do move back and forth, making more space, but it does eat up into the legroom at the back. The seats are comfortable. Uh, the padding is a little bit good. I wish there was a little bit more bolstering here, but the party is, well, in the third row. The third row is where the party is really at because, well, you get the most amount of legroom here. For the sake of the video, we did put the second row up to showcase how much space you can get back here. The seats, again, do slide forward and backwards, but it eats up the legroom for the fourth row. So for the fourth row, again, it's a little bit tight for Filipinos of, well, taller than six feet, but there is a little bit of space back here for whatever you might need. And at least the seats back here can also, you can find the thing, Recline slightly to give you more back room. So in terms of toys back here, you really don't get a lot aside from cup holders on this side, charging port here, and a charging port here. Of course, it's also mirrored on the other side of the vehicle as well. Anyway, that's enough about the interior. Let's go for a drive. So under the hood, you are looking at a 2.2 liter turbocharged diesel engine that produces 179 horses and 430 newton meters of torque. That is mated to an eight-speed automatic transmission that sends power exclusively to the front wheels. If you do get the higher premium variant, it does come with all-wheel drive. So one thing I noticed with the Hyundai Staria, it's very difficult to shut the hood, in which case I will require VJ to help me out. So VJ, would you please shut the hood for me? All right, here we go. Yeah, he got it. So driving the Hyundai Staria is a surprising experience because it doesn't feel like a van. It feels more like a large crossover than anything else. That's because the steering is particularly light. I can show this because I can steer the car with just one finger. It comes in really handy when you're going to, let's say, parking buildings or even through drive throughs Speaking of drive throughs though, it does come with cameras to help assist you through tighter turns. It will show you the top of the car, the front of the car, and even the sides of the car with your blind spot corners. So the Hyundai Staria, for a car being this long, does come with features to help you in tight situations or with merging in traffic. In this case, it comes with a blind spot camera that sort of displays here on its 10.25 inch display that shows you your blind spot uh, on either side of the vehicle. It activates when you hit the signal lights on either side. In terms of noise, harshness, and vibration, well, this is an older unit which has almost 20,000 kilometers on the clock. One thing I noticed though is that the doors, the sliding doors on either side, has a tendency to squeak over time. Now, I think it's because uh, this car has gone through a lot in its lifetime, but if you can hear it, that squeaking becomes really annoying unless you have your music turned up. So despite this car being, well, a van, it actually handles pretty well in terms of driving. When I mean driving, I mean like if you're going out of town, you're going on a few mountain roads, because since this car is front-wheel drive, 
all you have to do is point it in the direction you want to go and it'll actually go there it's because of the way that the car is designed it's also because of the way of how Hyundai um, manage the handling of the car you don't see, really feel the weight of it when you're turning in or approaching a corner at speed because the car just grips and rotates like properly so to give you a more well dynamic drive Hyundai has given the Staria uh, several drive modes you have sport eco normal and the final one which is smart now smart adapts to how you drive it while sport sort of firms up the throttle makes it more responsive and holds the gear for much longer eco on the other hand makes it shift up a little bit quicker so you can always save on gasoline so in terms of gasoline uh, this car does about 7 to 11 kilometers per liter in the city and around well 17.7 .7 to around 18.6 on the highway again it's not bad numbers but i was expecting somewhere near the 20s at least on the high range so for its engine, which is a 2.2 turbo diesel, it's quite powerful for a car this big. If you floor it, the boost comes alive and you're rocketed forward. Now, it might not be a good experience for those at the back, but at least it puts a smile on your face. So the Hyundai Staria definitely lives up to its Star X predecessor. It ticks all the right boxes, especially with this 11-seater version. For families that are looking for a great mode of transportation, it can easily fit 11 people, but without luggage, which is its one downside. That said though, it's a good car. Make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and make sure to follow us on Facebook, Autofun Philippines, and to follow us on Instagram and TikTok as well.